Welcome back. There are plenty of ways to cool off this summer in Macon Bib. Two pools and four splash pads are open countywide. That includes pools at Dolores Brooks and the South Bib Rec Centers. And splash pads at three other locations and South Bib. But despite the six opportunities for fun in the sun, some neighborhoods are still without a water oasis. The county says they're still trying to open the rest of the pools at Memorial Park, Frank Johnson Rec Center and Booker T. Washington Community Center. But opening Bloomfield might prove a bit more challenging. Anthony Montalto is live at the Bloomfield Rec Center to dive into the problem. Well, Frank Laurie, for the third year in a row, the Bloomfield pool didn't open up on time. Mechanical problems have plagued it since 2022, but the county says despite those problems, they're trying to do everything they can this year to get it up and running. Washing your car, a good way to beat the heat. And if you're Shamir Womack, it's a good way to beat the boredom. It's just a little boredom. Something to do. Womack and her son Ethan live about a block from the Bloomfield Recreation Center pool, but to take a dip, she drives Ethan and his friends a lot further. Right now, we'll go to Warner Robins, you know, or Houston Lake Road because they just open up there, so they will be able to go place. But other than that, it's not too many around this area that opens. Yeah, by the time you get out, you just come home. Making Bid Parks and Recreation Director Robert Walker says a big reason Bloomfield's pool is closed is vandalism. He says people keep stealing electrical wiring. Unfortunately, that has caused us to delay opening that one again as well. The problem stretches back to 2022 when someone messed with the copper wires and knocked the power out. Then came leaks and last year a failed pool pump. This year, the electrical problems remain because of the vandalism. We were preparing to open that pool just as any other pool in, this, in the county this year, um, but again, ran into that situation um, part two this year. It will be helpful. Open up the pools, have more things up there. Womack says she thinks having deputies patrol the area more often might help keep vandals away from the park, but until everything's fixed, when it's time for a swim, she'll just put all the kids in the car and hit the road. It's summertime. It shouldn't be just running around being able to just pile up in my yard and play ball, which I don't mind, but still, just a little bit more activities. Now, Walker says they're working with contractors to get everything fixed here at Bloomfield, but he says if they don't get enough lifeguards this summer, they can't open up the pool anyway. Live in Macon, Anthony Montalto, 13 WMZ News. I thank you, Anthony. Robert Walker says the county is still looking for another 10 to 15 lifeguards for the summer season. He says it's become a problem nationwide since the pandemic. In fact, fewer people have applied to become lifeguards. The American Lifeguard Association says the pandemic has played a role in that shortage. Last summer, the group reports about a third of the country's 309,000 public swimming pools remain closed or open sporadically due to the shortage. If you want to be a lifeguard, you can apply online on the county's website. The minimum age requirement, 16 years old. If you're applying and you're 18 years or older, you will need a high school diploma. Lifeguards will make about $14 per hour, and if you aren't CPR certified, the county says they'll help train and certify all hired applicants. You can also call their rec department for more information.